Hello, I'm going to show you how to change programs both internally and externally as well as effects while a song is playing. You may have found yourself in a situation where you need more tracks than 16 tracks and program changes are a good way to say bring in a gong that you're never going to see again. You want to just play it once and then it goes and then that track can go back to the other sound or a new sound. So I'm going to use one track and change it into about four sounds and then try and put effects each time. So, uh, speaking of gongs, let's start with that. So, let me go to drums, percussion, and uh, I'm going to pick this mini tam tam. And here are the IFX, as you see, there, there are none. So, going back to that, um, let's record it. Be playing it from here as well. Okay, so there are the sounds. Let's add an effect. Um, now it's a good idea to start the track with putting an effect to it so that when you restart it, it goes back to it. So I have a gong. Let's do something like an echo. So uh, delays, tape echo. We have to route it, so MIDI routing. It's the first track. I'm going to route it into effects one. There we go. So that plays. You know, let's come to here. Oh, put effects setting to track. So you can get really lost here because you have to have the right effect since you have to do them one at a time. The right song, the right MIDI track, uh, the right measure. So measure one, it, it knows I'm there right now. And see, at the beginning of the measure. So, okay. Okay, put the effects to the track. Now the next sound, let's see. Strings come in at four. Let's give those a stereo random filter and you can make uh, changes to the effects and those will go in too all right um, put effect setting to track now this is at four, so there we go. Then the guitar comes in. Let's see where that comes in. So I'm not playing right on beat, so it comes in at measure seven. on the bass amp model, which uh, is an effect I use to really brighten things up when I want something to cut through. Don't want it too bright. So I'm going to put that effect to track. And again, that came in around 7. The next effect, I'm going to route that into vintage Black fade. Okay, I like that. Put effect setting to track. Same thing. This is uh, effect two, so we gotta pick that. And I'm gonna route that into another effect. 
And this third effect, uh, we'll use some delay here. Um, Multi-band mod delay. Hmm, pretty cool. A little heavy though. All right, so we're going to put that effect to track. Effects three, so they should be there. Uh, the other trick is these effects routings. So those are recorded in real time, and then you can always undo with the compare button. But um, let's try that. Let's see. So we'll start with the first effect, and here we go. This is still at the guitar part. And hopefully this all plays back, so I'm going to the beginning. I might have to put a, let's see if the TAM plays right. So there you see that tape echo and these chains are off, so. It worked, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, so that's how you do it. And obviously uh, you can use multiple tracks. It's, it's a good idea to know um, what routings you want ahead of time. Like if you wanna keep one insert effect, you know, for some of the sounds or two, it, it's good to know that and that way you've got leeway. Um, let's go to another song. And this time I'm going to be dealing with some external stuff, so I'm going to use my track parameter here, let's see MIDI, and I want to play just external sound, so actually EX2, because I'm going to use the MSB LSB, and that's just a fancy way of saying program change. Um, the MSB I don't have to do anything with but the LSB this is your bank so um, I'm gonna use my deep mind and I'm using the the first bank so that stays the virus is on this channel and I'm gonna use the second bank of that so I go up to one zero being the first one being the second and the actual changes uh, are made here so here's the little program change number so uh, let me turn these up see how we are here okay that's the deep mind so if I go to there so um, I can record these patch changes so I'm actually gonna start with the virus on channel 2 here and all right so here we go, we're just going to record it. Alright, I kind of messed it up, but those sounds should change. Um, let's, but you know what's an interesting thing because I've tried this, and um, you won't see the sound change on screen here. So if I go to the beginning, I actually have to 
redo the, the, the first sound. So the first sound I started with needs a change. So I'm going into track edit and MIDI event edit. And I want to look at program changes. So that first sound needs a number 16 wasn't playing. So I'm going to copy this. Let's see, copy and insert it into one. So here is measure one. And I'm going to change that to program 16. Okay, so there, there are the program changes. Uh, and again, I can do it with the, the deep mine. I need to be on uh, track one. Here we go. So both synths should be changing. So here we go. And to not confuse you, I'll put it on this screen. There are the two tracks. So anyways, you can get a lot of sounds just using those two tracks and having program changes going. But of course, you can fill all 16 MIDI tracks and keep changing. So there's a lot of possibilities.